Okay, so let's take a look at the symbols and what symbols, how we can work with symbols in, in Illustrator CS6. So first thing we want to do is we're going to come on into window and we want to see that we have a symbols window. It has its very own window. So I'm going to close down some of these other guys because I'm starting to fill this little area up and you'll find that that's what happens quite a bit. All right, so just like when we were in colors, um, these are all, um, you know, default loaded. They come with Illustrator CS6. We can also find that we can click in that we have a lot of different, we have a library filled of symbols. Now, we could also look and see how Illustrator and Adobe really has um, an aftermarket. They have aftermarket products. You could even get more symbols um, and load them into your Illustrator. So let's say that I decided that I wanted to work with, dun 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 dun, Let's work with um, nature or yeah, let's go for nature. All right, so when I do this, I can see that this is my library for my symbols here. But again, there are a lot more um, arrows. Arrows, sometimes you wanna say, look over here. These are the certain things. Let's actually go for these arrows. So let's say I grab this arrow and how do I go about drawing my symbol up? Oh, you know, I have this symbol selected but it's not coming out. Well, what I need to do is I need to use my symbol sprayer. So here's my symbol sprayer. Um, so I could just click, there's my symbol. Okay, now let's say, you know, I wanna work with this, but I don't really like the colors. I wanna change the colors. Well, it's actually pretty easy. All I need to do is break the link to the symbol. Okay, I've just broken the link. And what's happened when you break the link is now you can come in and you can alter it. Illustrator no longer is seeing this as a symbol. It's seeing it instead as these different shapes, okay? But the problem is, is probably they're grouped. So first thing I need to do is I need to ungroup it, okay? And then I could click right in here and I could say, you know, I wanna change this color, I wanna change it to black, all right? Now, this is another thing. Let's say I wanted to change all the pink to black. Well, all I would need to do would be come to select and I could say same, I could say fill color, and I could change these all to black. Voila. Now I have a new shape, a new um, something that I want to work with. Now, what I could also do is I could select this, I could object, I could group it, and I could come on in here and say new symbol. I'll say okay. And now I have this as a symbol. So if I wanted to reuse it, I could. So really anything that you create and you want to make it a symbol and reuse it and put it into your Illustrator, into your library, you absolutely can do so. Let's take a look at a couple of other things. Let's come back in. I opened up nature. It's here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Oopsie. All right, so that's another really cool one. Look at this. There's all this, this cool stuff. Now, sometimes when you work with the symbol sprayer, you're going to find there's a lot of different um, options within the symbol sprayer. Uh, but if you click, okay, it's taking a minute to do its thing. Um, and we can see this is uh, one that has come in. It's taking a minute. It's doing its thinking. Actually, I'm sorry. I did edit undo forgive me for that. I'm thinking, what is it doing? Right, so if I click this right here, and this is my dot pattern, I click once with my symbol sprayer. Okay, I can see that this really fills, fills up the space. Okay, I can alter the size of it um, by just clicking and getting the free transform and moving this on in. Now let's say that I wanted to take this one behind it. Sometimes it's hard to select what we need, and I want it to be on top of it, what I would need to do is object, arrange, bring to front. Then I could take this and put it behind it. Now we can see we have this um, below that one. All right, all right, so now sometimes you're gonna wanna come into the symbol, especially work with the symbols. Um, there actually are some cool, if you wanted to reuse something, so why would you do a symbol? Well, maybe it's something that you want to create and you want to reuse it. Okay, that really is, um, that really is a great idea, actually. And you can see there are certain things like web icons. Okay, so let's say you wanted to, you're building a website, you want to have a little mail thing or something for phones, or you want to put a little infographic 
um, on a design piece that you're doing, this is a great place to come and find these. Uh, but again, it's really something that you, you want to use again. All right, so I'm gonna come on into here. Um, and this is another page. Let's take a look at working with these a little bit more. So let's say that I come in and I grab the bug. Dun, 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 dun. I come to the symbol sprayer tool, I click. Now, what happens is, is it's like spray paint. So if you click, if you hold down, it actually works a lot like spray paint. So if you hold down your mouse, a bunch of them will come out. Um, so if you just want one, you just need to click once. And you're gonna find that a lot of them are gonna be grouped together. Okay, so if you just want one, you wanna just click once. And it's like spray paint, when you hold it down, the way that the spray paint comes out of the can. Again, we can break the link to the symbol. We can click off. Again, we're gonna to have to ungroup them now first because when you create something into a symbol, you have to group it, all right? Now I can come on into this guy right here. I could zoom it on in and I could change this guy around. So I could come on in. I could, if I wanted to change this color, if I grab the black arrow, it's gonna select the whole thing, okay? But if I wanted to change one of these colors, I could click, I could click. I can, I could come select same, but, um, and then I could just change the color. Okay, so there's a lot of different options within the symbol tool.